Get things going here for our runners on this SPO 43. We're going to our third match. Will one of our runners come up with their second point and punch their ticket for the final four? We're going to find out. Neither of these guys have been in the final four uh, prior to this match. And uh, you got any final advice for these guys going into this final match? I'll bet they're nervous. Uh, yeah, th this is the time to be nervous. It's uh, all down to this one. Uh, and you guys are so close and so fast. It's going to be awesome to watch. So bring it. Yeah, <laughs> we all win. We all win. We all win. Yeah. All right. So this CAD battle, possibly the final battle between Mr. Alex and Airwick, SolidWorks versus Onshape, begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXXX grams? The tolerance is plus or minus two grams. We can see that this thing is called pivot arm, and this is a tier five part. So good luck to our runners. They're both going to, I'm sure, be coming up with a strategy of multiple contours, of trying to figure out, you know, kind of where the different heights are on this thing. Uh, it is not, you know, not an easy part. Yeah, it looks like a pain in the butt. Da Vinci, giving some excellent advice in the chat, says, go fast and be right. Excellent advice. Yes, that's the way to win. Ex Machina says, go Airwick. Cheering for the Onshape user. Still up, even though he's got a even though he's got a fever. Probably sitting at his computer eating some chicken soup. And still at this point, identical sketches going on. Really, really amazing to see how frequently that's happening in these tournaments. You know, not just on the very first sketch, but sometimes like two, three, four features down in the tree. Yeah, like in the last one, like they were drawing the same, the, the final holes and at the same time, Yeah, great. And Barry in the chat says, go snoring dog. There we <laughs> go. His name's Bean. His name's Bean? Bean, he's a pug. All right. Pug snore a lot. <laughs> so we got Mr. Alex on the left drawing first blood. He's already got two features, solid features in the tree. We got Airwick on the right kind of doing some layout work. We've seen him do this before, and a lot of times it seems like he's able to quickly go from just having those layouts to having uh, solid geometry. So here we see Airwick making his first feature in Onshape, and then using Shift-Enter. Shift-Enter in Onshape lets you immediately jump into the same command again. So when you're doing multiple extrudes like this, you could use Shift-Enter to right away jump into the next one, right away jump into the next one. So hmm. knowing some of these shortcuts, knowing some of these tools that are built right into the software can make a big difference when you're trying to get that model out the door as quickly as possible. Yeah, that, is, that does sound very helpful. <laughs> And Mr. Alex on the left using some power trim. We like seeing power trim here in the tournament as well. So very cool here using power trim to kind of trim up that sketch, get everything looking the way it's supposed to look. And there it is. SolidWorks forcing you into a thin feature when you really just want to contour select. Love it when yep. that happens. And then you can't uncheck thin feature until you pick a contour. That always makes me happy when that happens. It's funny. It's strange again. Uh, Mr. Alex is doing uh, the full part, whereas... Uh, Eric is doing half of it. Yeah, Eric really uh, tries to take advantage of that uh, symmetry, you know, whenever there's symmetry, uh, trying to just do half the model and kind of, you know, saving himself the, those extra steps. So we'll see if it pays off on this one. Hmm. Mr. Alex here looks like maybe he's uh, just confirming that he's got the correct geometry on this section of the model, or maybe setting himself up for, uh, wow, some more contour selection, some convert entities to get that extra geometry out of there. Very nice. Wow. That was a really clever way to get that kind hmm. of thinner section created and selected. And meanwhile, Airwick is uh, working on that, that lug that's kind of sticking out the back of the model. And look at that mirror. Wow, that mirror really came through fast there for Mr. Alex. He's uh, got this model more or less on lockdown, or so it would seem. We won't know for sure until Pretty we get much. to the end. The crowd goes silent as we're all hyper fixated on what everyone's drawing. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I guess we just got to let the CAD talk for itself. Yep. Airwick running into, look, looks almost like a zero thickness error there. Some kind of a problem with that extrusion. Onshape gives you this red feedback when a feature is not going to rebuild. Red is bad. Red is bad. 
which is why the the red lines confuse me if, like if for just undefined before. with a, a libre yeah yeah yeah, yeah you see, blue in solidworks you yeah know? you see that in, in solidworks you think like oh i must have a real problem here which underdefined could arguably be a real problem but yeah okay we might end up seeing something coming in here somebody even wrote a song about it. indeed indeed Then we got a mask. Okay, and the chat. answer, 1503, that is not correct. That is not yeah. correct. So Mr. Alex has placed in the first answer, 1503, and that is not correct. That is not correct. There's a chance for Airwick to come and clean that up. Yeah, this could open the door for Airwick. So now Mr. Alex needs to go back through, look at the model, look at the print, and see if he can't figure out what was incorrect what was going on with that model it's the first wrong answer of the day barry recognizes mm. yeah we're five matches in this is the very first time we've gotten a wrong answer uh michael in the chat says think i got it tayfun says alex is almost there yeah alex was able to push that across the finish line pretty quickly but there's something that he must have missed in the print some dimension some feature something is missing there um and this may open the door for airwick who's kind of taking more of like a slow and steady approach Yeah, Eric was uh, fighting with that little single tongue on the back for a little while. Mm -hmm. But now he's in a pretty good position. Looks like he's actually using move face here instead of doing a, a cut extrude. So interesting, interesting approach there. Eric's copying it. Looks like he's mask. getting ready. And Eric comes in with an answer, 1550 grams. And that is correct. Wow. wow. My goodness. What a battle between these guys. Wow. 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 I didn't see where, I didn't see where uh, Mr. Alex. Uh, I think that, I think Mr. Alex might have had a presumption of symmetry in the vertical direction. And it's not, there's, there's a. Uh, it's not exactly symmetric going vertical. There's some like mm -hmm. kind of nuances with regards to the offsets in the vertical direction. Uh, so I think that that may have been what got him, meaning that the the thickness of that uh, center section may just be slightly off. But wow, guys, that was awesome! Awesome! awesome.